Hi guys, what's going on? My name's Rich. I'm a part-time eBay seller from Northampton. So I've been doing this now for about two, two and a half years. So I just thought I'd show you a quick um, haul that I did this week, okay? So um, my first charity shop I went to, I bought a retro vintage jigsaw. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but I certainly remember this from my, my um, childhood. When, when I was in my 10, 11 years old, um, Disney's um, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. So I've had a look and this is the only one that's on sale. Okay, so when I put it on, it's going to be going up for about £19 because I certainly think it's worth it. It's be about 20 years old at least, 25 years old. So yeah, that was quite a good pickup for me. Um, and that only cost me, I believe it was either 80p or a pound. So yeah, I actually had to build the puzzle up together so it, to make sure that it was all there to sell. So the next one that I had uh, at the same um, charity shop was this game called Tin Can Alley. Now there is one where you use the, the uh, guns with the little pellets, I believe, and that's an, uh, also an electric one. But this one has just got six tins in and two bean bags. Now this cost me a pound and I believe it brand new, it's sort of around about the 15 pound mark. So this looks like it's never been used before. So I'll certainly be going for about the same price there as well, okay? So it's also all complete with the instructions. So the next thing is <coughs> a series of fortunate events books, okay? So I have sold these in the past. Um, when I did buy these from this one charity shop, the lady gave me a really good deal. So this lot here cost me five pound. It is missing number 11 and eight, I believe, but all the all the pages are in clean condition. There's no writing in there, like where you get people's names written there um, for the kids. So that was pretty good. So I usually pick up the books of between 50p and a pound. Um, and they the books regularly sell for about 35 to 40 pound. But if you do put, the DVD starring Jim Carrey in it, um, it can go up to about £45. That extra pound for the DVD, it's worth doing, to be fair. But if you're not really wanting to put the DVD in the book bundle and you just want a quick sell, then definitely around about the £35 mark, um, plus your £5 shippage. Just to let you know, guys, I always do free postage and I always do a best offer as well, okay? So... My next thing is from the same charity shop, I bought a perfection game. Now I did briefly look at this because um, I remember this from my childhood as well. I was absolutely gutted to look to find that there was one piece missing and there was no instructions. The box is a little bit tatty. This regularly sells for around about the 20 to 25 pound mark. So it is good for spares and repairs. It is all in good working condition, so I thought I'd put it up for about the 18, 19 pound mark, and let's see where we go from there. Obviously, as I said before, I do put all best offer, so I do accept offers on, on, on a lot of my things. So the next thing we're gonna to come to is an Aqua Beads, um, beads box. It's brand new and sealed. It cost me about 60p, and I believe I've got it for about 12.99. It's good for like kids putting, uh, doing wristbands and things like that. So the next thing I, I bought was an Art Attack Fun Facts. So when I bought this, I checked up on it um, on eBay and I found out that somebody had paid fourteen ninety nine for this plus four pound postage, and I was thinking, great. So I'm going to go for, shoot for around about the twenty pound mark. Um, purely because this would be the only one that was on there. But I I didn't notice at the time that there was a little sleeve that was supposed to cover this. Now the sleeve's not really important because it didn't really cover the whole fo uh, fun facts. And also somebody has put, if I just open up the Art Attack book, that they've put the stickers on the inside of the fun facts. It's not really a problem, it does look pretty cool anyway. But my, mine's not new log there as was. So I'm going to shoot for the 1699 and see where I'm going to go for there. Because it should sell, to be pretty honest. Because that's the only one that's going to be on there. And it is in good cooling condition, to be fair. 
So the next one <coughs> for me was a Disney mug. I do like picking up the Disney mugs. I only tend to go for the really un weird, unusual ones, things like the Nightmare Before Christmas and things like that. But I thought I'd pick, pick up this one because it was a 3D Mini and Mickey one from Paris and it was blue. And I didn't see any on the eBay at the time, um, but I was in a bit of a rush because I had to um, had to finish what I was doing and then get come back to work, so I didn't have a look. I only paid 50p for this, so it wasn't too bad, but it only goes for about 8 99 Usually for me, if I want to make a profit, if I want to make some decent profit, if I pay anywhere between 50p and a pound, I want to be making around about the 15 i want to be selling it for 15 pound so my profit's at least going to be about seven pound 50 but for this it's going to be roughly around about the i don't know four pound mark unfortunately so the next thing that i did buy this is an actual pickup from the selling site i'm afraid so this was sent to me it's a nintendo gamecube pearl white edition so <clears throat> This here is one of a few that's on eBay, but they regularly sell for around between the 50 and 70 pound mark. And that's without any of the cables or any games or any controllers. If it's boxed, you're looking around about the 90 plus pound mark. Even if that's got no controllers, if it's got controllers, the wires and it's boxed, you're looking well over a hundred pound. Uh, and that's with free postage as well. So as I said, I always offer free postage or best offer. The next thing is one of my favourites because I enjoy wrestling, okay? And this is bringing me back to my childhood again, even though I still watch it. This is a WWF wrestling trivia game, okay? So this trivia game um, is from 1998. It's actually complete and it's in mint condition. Nobody's ever used it. I don't understand why. Um, maybe because kids when they're like eight or nine years old they don't really want to be you know answering questions and that they want to be playing on with games and so on and so on so this is the only one that's actually up on ebay at the moment um and because it is wwf and it is 20 years old i went international on this now i very rarely go international on a lot of my things it's only a couple of things but this one I did go international on. So international was £15. Uh, I think I believe it was £15 postage with this. Just because of the size of the box. But yeah, I love this item. I didn't really want to sell it. But at the end of the day, it's going to make some good profit. Because I believe I think I've got it for £84.99. But I do take best offers. If anybody wants to ask any questions about any of the items, then please do so. Okay, The page is always up. So the next thing we're going to come to, believe you or not, is a Boston 300 pencil sharpener. And I believe it's from like the 60s, 70s. Now, it's got a little bit of a chip on where the plastic comes out to take the, out the pencil sharpenings. But it is in really good condition and it does work. And I paid £1.99, believe you or not, for this. And I was thinking this is going to be a little bit of a, of a blowout because it's a little bit too expensive. But no, somebody has actually sold one of these. I believe it was for about £22.99. So because mine's got a little bit of a chip on the, the little plastic, I don't think it's going to affect it much. But I'm going to aim for the same. But as I said before, I do take a best offer on things. Okay. So the next thing that I went to, uh, the next charity shop, I bought this item here, which was a T-File multi-purpose grater. Now, I was a little bit dubious about buying this, but it did only cost, I believe, £1. And they have been selling regularly for around about the, the £13 to £15 mark. So I'm going to head for the same. Brand new, they go for about the £15.99, £16.99 mark um, when, when they've been sold. So, yeah, for about £13, £14, I'm going to aim for. Now, this is for another, from another one of my childhoods. Um, about twenty. 20 odd years ago, Power Rangers, Mighty Morphine Power Rangers. Now this is like a small sandwich box for kids, okay? So this sandwich box, um, I've, I believe I've got it for about 16 99 or 18 99 Only one has ever sold, and I believe that was for roughly the same price. But I think it was a pink one, 
but the yellow one is a multi-purpose color so boys and girls can have it so i'm hoping that this will sell pretty well but if you see on the front it does have the pink and the per so the pink and the yellow ranger on fighting a couple of the buddies okay so that was pretty cool pick up pick up for me so the next thing is guys the creme de la creme this is a dr martin's men's fleece top okay so as it comes to colder weather i thought this would be a great pickup i believe it cost 3.99 but there's nothing like this that's on ebay at the moment i think um this i believe i'm going to put up for around about the 60 pound mark because as i said it is going to get colder it is going to start raining it is going to be windy and it is going to be snowing and i think this dr martin's jacket this fleece jacket is going to sell really really well and it's in nice clean condition to be honest i can't see it being ever worn any more than about i don't know a handful of times to be fair the label has faded a little, little bit but that's probably because it's been washed a couple of times so yeah that's not a problem my next pickup was the same place that i picked up from the dr martins and this is a pair of uh, a couple of pairs of levi's so you got 501 um a size waist 38 and a 32 length which is not a bad size okay i th i think i paid around about three pound for these now usually levi's depending on what uh, type of jean they are how rare how common they are whether the boot whether the slim fit and so on and so on um it depends on how much you can get for these and i believe that these go for between 18 and 22.99 a pair for these ones the next one is another pair of 501s okay so these ones are a little bit newer they're a little bit thinner and this size is a pair of 30 to 30 length as well so this will be for uh, good for ladies or good for a, a man's skinny jeans. So yeah, that was around about the £3.50 as well. So I'll be aiming for around about the 20 to £22 for these as well. The next thing is a Lacing Tommy from Ambi Toys. Now, this is from Holland, I believe. And I haven't seen many of the Ambi Toys on there. Uh, not of a lacing tommy anyway but when i did key it up um to find out how much it was to sell when i put it on ebay i, I almost fell off my chair because it was selling for around about the 170 to 230 pound and i really couldn't understand the reason why it is a nice toy it's 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 basically um like uh you have to lace the body together to the the legs and then lace the hat and so on and so on it's not complete i'm afraid unfortunately it is missing the instructions but i'm pretty sure you can google the instructions anyway so i believe i've got that up for about the 70 odd pound mark um so that should be some really good profit in it because obviously i don't pay a lot for my items but I do have this on the international as well for Europe. So anybody that's in Holland, they are they can uh, buy this as well. So the next thing is I always like Cuddly Toys as well. So with Cuddly Toys, I went with a Daisy Duck, um, Donald's, no, not Donald, yeah, Donald's partner, I believe. Um, it is Disney Store stamped. And I went with a price of around about the 12 to 13 pound mark, I believe, on her because she does sell for uh, that price regularly anyway. So, yeah, that was quite a good find. The next thing is if you don't know about Jelly Cat, these are really a good one to pick up. Now, when I went to the first, uh, sorry, to the, my first charity shop, I found one Jelly Cat item. And then when I was walking around, I noticed some more Jelly Cats. And I'll pick them up straight away. So I've got a little pig that's about 30 centimetres here. And then I've got the larger pig here. And that's about 40, 45 centimetres. So I've done them as a bundle. I believe I've done them for around about the 26.99 uh, mark. So they should go pretty quickly to be fair. My next one is a jelly cat um, rabbit or 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 yeah it's pretty much a rabbit or a hare uh, i believe that's about 50 centimeters high and i think i've got that up for around about the 19 pound mark 
That was also another good pickup. So I was very, very happy on the Jelly Cat and the Daisy Duck. The next thing is I didn't really get much media because unless it's something that's that you're going to sell on Amazon because I don't really sell on Amazon. It's just eBay that I sell on at the moment. I will double on Amazon when I get a bit more brave. But at the moment, it is just eBay. So my next pickup was a couple of Wii games. So one is a Pepper the Pig game, which I picked up for a quid. And I believe I've got that up for around about the 10.99 mark. So that's going to generate about £5 profit. So that's pretty good in itself. The next one is a Barbie game. So this Barbie Horse Adventures Riding Camp, um, it regularly sells for around about the fourteen ninety nine mark. So I put it up for around about the sixteen ninety nine or best offer, just to tempt the buyers to buy my items. Okay. So guys, this is my charity shop haul. I will do one at least a couple of times a week, and also to show you what sells and what I've I've sold for. And what my profit is. So if you like my DVD. Uh, sorry my, not my DVDs. My videos. Please give it a thumbs up. And also press the subscribe button. Okay. Thank you very much guys for watching my video. Alright. Okay you take care. Have a good day.